Oh, wow, that is a long way down. I do not want to fall down there. If I fall down there, I, I will never get my stuff back again. That is something I don't want to do. I, I might just take a quick look over the edge. Let's just scooch on over here. Oh, 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 oh I nearly fell down there. Okay, uh, I, I'm getting back up on my safety barrier here, and I am not looking over there again. I'm just going to start the episode, and then we can get away from here, and I don't have the balance on the edge of this uh, ridiculous hole down to bedrock. So, hello everyone, it's Jack here, and welcome to the start of another episode of Jack's World. Today, I have got something really awesome planned. We're going to be building a lumber mill, which may sound really kind of odd that we're building that before we get started even building our own home, but I really want to build a lumber mill. We're going to need a supply of timber for various other the buildings coming up in the near future and it would be nice to have somewhere where we could process all that stuff. So today's episode is going to be a little bit different to normal, we're going to be doing kind of a let's build style and I think it's going to be really kind of cool to try this out. If you do enjoy this episode then don't forget to drop a like down below, it helps out a bunch and if you want to leave a comment or anything along those lines sharing the episode, any support is appreciated and uh, it's great to see it. So other than that I hope you enjoyed today's episode and let's get started with the building. So I thought the best place to put a lumber mill would be in a forest of course and what a better place to put it than the forest that's right behind our mine. So I went into that forest and had a look around for a little bit to try and find sort of a relatively flat area. Somewhere where we could easily build a, a lumber mill. So what I did was I found this area that you can see on screen, I got all that cleared out and as you can see at the moment I'm building all these foundations for the lumber mill. So what am I going to be using to build this lumber mill? Well lumber mills usually are made from sort of the materials that are relatively clean close by and because we've got all this oak wood in this forest we've got cobblestone ready to hand that's what I'm going to be using and I'm going to be using all the different blocks from the chisel mod that we've got in this mod pack to create some better looking blocks than just using cobblestone and things like that. So you can see at the moment I'm actually using oak wood for part of the foundations and I'm also using this uh, block here. Now these are stone bricks but they're not actually stone bricks they're made from the chisel mod they're using the cobblestone to make I think what they're called is detailed stone bricks and I really like the way they're Look, I've used them in a lot of stuff before and I really like these and um, what I'm doing now is I'm building up a timber frame for the building. Now the building itself is made up of this giant timber frame and when it's finished what I want is a fairly open building what's quite open to the elements uh, there's not many walls in there as well because I want this to be able to sort of fit into the environment and that's why I don't want a big obtrusive building uh, that looks kind of out of place so that's why it's going to be fairly open plan um, all the walls are going to be nice and see through and I think that's going to be kind of nice so what I actually wanted to have with that is a timber frame that actually looked like it was holding the building together because usually you can disguise that with walls and such but with there not being many walls in this building I think a timber frame really fits here so that's what I'm doing with this I'm building up a timber frame out of all the oak wood that's nearby and just sort of making a, a structure that we can then work around with all the different things that we're going to do in the future and I think that looks really good you'll also see it around the bottom of all these oak pillars I'm using carpenter's stairs and those are disguised with oak wood and I'm just doing that to try and add a bit of structure and depth to it because just a, a timber frame looks a little bit boring. With the timber frame done and out of the way, it's about time we get started on the roof and for this I'm using carpenter's blocks. Now with this roof I didn't want something that was just a plain old boring roof, I actually wanted something that we can add a little bit of design to and add a shape to, to sort of make the building stand out a little bit and that's why I'm using these collapsible blocks. Now the awesome thing about these is that what we can do is we can take this hammer as you can see in the background and we can hammer these blocks to pretty much any shape we want and that's what I'm doing with the entire roof. Uh, it actually took quite a long time and this something that I actually regret doing a little bit as well with these carpenters blocks because in the end it actually took me just over an hour to do this entire roof and the other part of the roof that you'll see in a second um, but I think in the end it did actually look quite good and I think all the hard work did pay off with this uh, roof even though it took so long um, but yeah this is um, something that did take a while and I really like the end design as I said but it, it is something that I probably wouldn't do in the future if I'm doing a roof this big but it did end up looking quite good and I'm really happy with how it turned out and the other really cool thing about carpenters blocks is we can take uh, any block we want and layer them onto the block and disguise those blocks as uh, any block we want which is really 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 kind of cool and it means that we don't have to rebuild this entire roof if we want to change the material which I really like 
The blocks that I'm using for this roof are these really cool factory blocks. Now, once again, these are part of chisel. And the reason I went for these is because I wanted kind of an industrial feel to the roof. I wanted this really rusty old metal roof on the building, something that made it look like the lumber mill had been in the forest, not really cared for too much. And that's why I really like these blocks. They're really awesome. And they are pretty cheap to make as well. Just a little bit of iron, a little bit of stone. So they're really cool. And also talking about uh, designs for the building, I wanted to actually talk a little bit about the walls as well. Now, earlier on, I mentioned that I wanted this building to be fairly open, but once I actually got around to getting the building built and this entire frame was built with the walls, it did look a little bit too open for my liking. So I decided to add a few little walls around the building. And what I'm doing here is I'm using carpenter's blocks and I'm setting them to half the depth of the timber frame and then just overlaying them with some oak wood just to add a little bit of depth and add these walls that look like they're just panelled in within the structure itself. So the building is almost complete and the only thing really left to do is get some floors going inside the building. So what I'm doing here is I'm just levelling up this inside part of the building and laying down some just very basic flooring, some stone and gravel because this is our entrance to the lumber mill. So I wanted it to look worn and I didn't want anything too fancy. And I'm also going to be using these half slab carpenters blocks to make way for the new floor which is in the main part of the building which is these really really good looking vertical spruce planks. I think they're vertical uneven spruce planks and they're from the chisel mod once once again, I really love the chisel mod, it's awesome for all these different building things that you can do. Now, what's left to do with the building? Well, there's still a little bit of terraforming to do on the outside. I've got a little bit of work to do in terms of paths, in terms of some details as well, but that's some stuff that I'll do off camera. Uh, the only thing left to do inside the building is to finish off the floor and add some of these really nice looking carpenter's barriers around as well, and then disguise them with some of the oak wood just to blend them in with the walls. And I think that's a really nice finishing touch for the inside of the building. Oh wow, our lumber mill is finally complete. After a hard day's work, we're finally left with a really cool looking building that we can use to house all our lumber production machines. I'm really looking forward to when we get the machine set up in here. This is going to be awesome. But I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to wait till another day before we set all our machines up. We've still got a lot of automation, storage and uh, machine setuping to do. And uh, that is something that we're going to have to wait till another day because I am about out done with building for today. All this hard work though has finally paid off and we're left with a really cool looking building. For now though, I hope you've all enjoyed today's episode. I know it was kind of a little bit of a different style to how I usually do things. This was more of a let's build style, but still I hope you all enjoyed it and let me know whether you did or not in the comment section below or by leaving a like on the video. Anything is uh, appreciated. And other than that, I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Next episode we'll be back to a normal machine building, automation, automation and crafty crafting uh, episode and uh, I hope you're all looking forward to that so until next time guys I will uh, see you all next time <laughs>